Dale Brown was an excellent three-sport athlete at Carleton High School where he earned eight varsity letters. He played two years of varsity football for the Cavaliers as a solid two-way player, earning all-conference honors both seasons. He was named captain his senior year. Brown played three years of varsity baseball as a pitcher and infielder and was named all-conference in his senior season. Brown, however, is most widely known for his basketball ability. Played junior high ball and right away we could tell he had a lot of talent and he just continued and he kept getting better all the time. Dale, in my opinion, was probably the best pure shooter that Carlton ever had. He had, uh, in my opinion, the, the perfect jump shot. He was brought up to the varsity during his sophomore season and one year later averaged 19 and a half points per game while being named team MVP and earning all conference laurels in the Northern B Conference. As a senior, Brown again was named team MVP when he averaged 18.8 .8 points per game and made good on 51% of his field goal tries and 80% from the line. He was selected to the Saginaw News All-Area First Team, made All-Conference First Team honors as well as being named to the Class B All-State Team by the Associated Press and United Press International. During the 1972-73 season, and prior to the three-point line being instituted, Brown tied George Kubiak's school record of 40 points. Brown helped lead the Cavaliers to the Class B quarterfinals, where Carleton fell to Albion 74-72 as the Cavs finished the season 22-2. He went on to play basketball collegiately at Saginaw Valley State College from 1975 to 78, and he was named team MVP his junior and senior seasons. And Coach Pratt goes, I think you could play a lot as a freshman, maybe even start, but you're gonna have to be a point guard. I thought, no way. He goes, well, we got a pretty good shooter in Dale Brown. And I go, well, we'll see about that. And so after playing with Dale for about a half hour in, in the preseason practices, I go, yes, I'm a point guard now. Brown was named to the Great Lakes Intercollegiate Athletic Conference All-Star Team as an honorable mention selection as a sophomore. As a junior, he was named to the All-Gleac First Team when he averaged 17.4 points a game and was the league's free throw champion with an amazing 91% mark. And he was one of the best pure shooters and all around players that I've ever been around. Intelligent, but he could he could shoot unbelievably. And uh, that's when I first met Dale. And plus he's just a great guy too. Brown ended his career at Saginaw Valley as the school's leading scorer with 1,657 points, which currently places him fifth in Cardinals history. He has the third most field goals, again with no three-point line, with 701 career field goals. Brown helped turn the Cardinal Cage program around. After Saginaw Valley was 10 and 20 his freshman season, they were 16 and 12 and 23 and 7 the next two seasons as the Cardinals qualified for the NAIA District 23 tournament both years. We did real well. I think it was my junior year we were um, 23 and 6, I believe, but every year we got better. And uh, it was a good team, and uh, you could see the growth, and I think we really helped put. Uh, Saginaw Valley on the map because in terms of recruitment, it, it brought some quality players that kept the program uh, at a higher level. In his senior season, 1977 to 78, Saginaw Valley was 21 and eight. After I got into college, uh, we started playing uh, competitive softball together. He played modified softball for Ryan Partnership, helping the team advance to the Nationals three times. Brown became an athletic official for the Michigan High School Athletic Association and has been since 1988. Dale just said, you know, Doc, I'm going to I'm gonna get into reffing. I think and I, I looked at him, I said, you could be a good one. And I know he's worked state finals and many big games, and so that's a testament to his, his ability and his excellency. He's worked championship games in football, softball, boys basketball, and girls basketball. Additionally, he volunteered as boys and girls basketball coach at St. Josephat's in Carleton. Dale taught me a, a great sports work ethic. Would do whatever he had to do for the team. An ideal guy to coach, a dream player. Family's first, and uh, you know you got to respect that. And obviously. Like I said, besides being a good friend and good teammate all these years, he's probably his, his best asset is he's just a true family man.